Yo, it's your boy J Names. We're in the kitchen today. I'm gonna show you how to cook up a Destroy Lonely type guitar beat. I'm gonna go over processing, recording the guitars and drums. Let's get into it. Step one is guitar. If you don't play guitar or are not interested, feel free to skip ahead using a strat, but you can use whatever. I mean, typically you'd want something with humbucker pickups, like a Gibson or something like that, but this is what I got, so let's get it. These are kind of some popular shapes to play in these kind of beats. And we're just in standard tuning. First off, you got the power chord shapes, seventh fret, and then on the next string, ninth fret, and then the next string, ninth fret. So seven, nine, nine typical Rocky type stuff. Another popular shape in these kind of beats is another form of the power chord, which instead of seven, nine, nine, you'd go seven, seven, nine. Yeah, so it's kind of like more emo-y. Really, for those who care, like the root would be on the A string instead of the E string. Then the other one you have is this kind of nine chord. So it'd be seven, nine, 11. Kind of gives you like a post rock type sound. I guess the last one would be major seven chord. So let's say seven, nine, and then eight. Emo y, maybe like punkish kind of sound. So I'm about to just play around, come up with a pattern. I'm gonna be using this archetype Nali plugin for some of the tones. I also use like Corey Wong, SDL Tone Hub, some guitar rig. Um, you could also just use the stock Ableton or FL. I think FL comes with amps, but you really just some distortion, maybe a little EQ, things like that, or what you need. The archetype stuff is really quality if you have the money for the plugins. Gotta plug in. Let's get a tempo first. The Destroy Lonely guitar stuff, I feel like it's like a little slower, like, how you feel? How you feel? How does that? Yeah. I don't even know the words, honestly. I'm a person who just like listens to the beat a lot, like in the melody. So a lot of times I have no clue like what the song is saying. If you're like that too, comment below. Or if you're a avid lyricist, you know, comment that too. I'm, I'm curious what y'all think. And if you're on Ableton, a lot of times I make sure that the playback is like 128 or 64, and then you can do this reduced latency when monitoring, just to make sure that there's no like delay or latency. A lot of times what I see him doing is he'll do like a heavy kind of chord layer, maybe with some power chords or something, and then like a little kind of arpeggiated thing on top. So let's come up with a just kind of bed of power type emo -y chords. I think that'll work. I mean, want to double it up. The reason this is cool is one, because it makes it sound really big, but also it helps everything have its own space, right? Because the vocal, a lot of the snares, kick and everything is going to sit in the middle and then the guitars will sit out on the sides. Something we can do maybe to reduce the squeak a little bit is use a plugin like RX, get rid of this yeah, electric guitar cleanup, group them together so we can process them. Something about guitars, a big thing to change the tone is just EQing. Maybe RC20 a little bit, just to add some more texture. All right, the next thing we wanna do is add like a little twinkly top end kind of part to it. Timing is really important with guitars, otherwise it just kind of feels out of pocket, it feels weird. All right, I'm gonna add one more lead. Something I like to occasionally do is just like texturize the whole thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but let's try that. Group them all together, Command G and Ableton. Kind of like this, Dist Cold Fire. Mm, I kind of like those little, it's almost like glitchy, like space, like alien type stuff, which I feel like goes with the Destroy Lonely type vibe. I think it's always a good idea to shift or transpose your loop or whatever you're working on just to give you a different perspective in terms of, you know, the energy or some different melodies might come out. Or 
are good for guitar for now. Maybe go to just get like some basic drums going. So a lot of times I know, I mean, he's using some like traps, drums, a lot of times filtered, just in terms of stock Ableton. So. Get some hi-hats going. A lot of times it's just the basic. Can add like rolls and stuff based off of that. The one kit that I have on this computer. Use this delay feature right here. So it like pushes it back. But if whatever software that you're using doesn't have a feature like that, you could probably just take the notes and then just drag them over, you know, just a little bit to the right. One plugin I think is cool for hats is this Brower Motion plugin. Just gives it a little different, kind of just moving around. And maybe like a sub. Analog sine wave going. And then we can distort it, obviously. Maybe add like a saw layer. What I'm doing is just trying to make it as full as possible and really fill out the frequencies, you know? Maybe add a little bit of noise to kind of mess it up. So that sounds ugly, but we can filter. And maybe adding some like bends or something like that, which you can do a couple different ways, depending on if you're in FL Studio or Ableton. Right now it might be just easier to automate this pitch bend thing in Serum. Next thing we could add is maybe some kind of accent sort of snares. The rest is kind of just percussion, like messing around, maybe getting some more hat sort of rolls in. Yeah, maybe like a little open hat kind of thing. Maybe we could texturize that. All right, so we've got the core. I mean, from here, it's just kind of just arranging it. If you also want to do certain little moments with filters and what this is going to do is going to make it go kind of like underwater, you know, submarine mode and then out. See that you could filter the snare, unfilter the snare. Probably a few more little accent things at the end. And that's kind of how you put together the pieces of a Destroy Lonely type beat. Hopefully you learned something. If you didn't, roast me in the comments and let me know what you want to learn in the future. Until then, keep vibing out. I'll catch you next time.